Hi, welcome to 3D Extra. Today I want to discuss a setting in Chitubox that is often talked about but is seemingly misunderstood and in my opinion terribly executed. I'll also tell you what my ideal alternative for this would be and how to do it. For the purpose of this explanation I am ignoring the jerk and acceleration settings of the machine just to make calculations a little bit easier. First off, let's figure out what the light off delay actually does. We can get the full explanation for this in the Chitubox manual. Going into the settings, help, user manual, opening up the English or whatever language is comfortable for you, and doing a control F for light off. We are shown this. What this means is the actual light off setting you enter is the Z move up time plus the Z move down time plus the delay you actually want. It will only work if the setting is greater than the time it requires to move the axis up and down. For example, let's have a look at my settings. We can use the basic formula of speed equals distance over time to calculate the time in seconds for the movement. I'm using a lift distance of 5 mm with a lifting speed of 50 mm per minute and a retraction speed of 90 mm per minute. So we have 5 over 50 times 60 to move up and 5 over 90 times 60 to move down. And that gives us roughly 9.5 seconds for all the movement. So if you want to have an actual delay of 2 seconds, you need to put the light off delay setting to be 11.5. Any value that is lower than 9.5 seconds will give you no delay at all. So why is this claim to be useful? One argument for this is that it allows the LCD a little bit extra time to cool down. This can indeed be considered a benefit. We all know that LCDs in these machines are consumables and they degrade over time. This degradation is further sped up by exposing it to excess heat. Adding a few seconds of chill out time could potentially benefit the lifespan of the display. The other argument is that it helps the resin flow back over the FEP if you're using a particularly viscous resin. This claim would be valid if the delay was added at the top of the Z lift sequence. In actuality, the delay is added when the plate is back in the printing position, meaning that with or without a delay, if your resin hasn't had time to flow back into place in those six seconds, any extra number of time you set will be completely redundant. The ideal setup for a delay would be to have the delay happen at the maximum height of your lift. By doing this, you're actually allowing time for the resin to flow back into the void created by the peel, and you're maximizing contact of the resin to the screen, hence helping it cool down faster, albeit through the FEP, which might have insulating properties, but then again, it's something. There is no setting like this in Chitubox, unfortunately, but it can be done in the machine parameters G-code that is often provided on the USB that your machine comes with. You can edit it with Notepad++ or any other basic text editor. What we're looking for is M8016 space D. We find it around line 52, and this is what we want to change. This is the retention time after the z-axis rises to the highest point. The unit here is in milliseconds, so if we, for example, want to set a two-second delay, we need to change this value to 2000. We save it put it onto a USB stick, run it through the machine, and now every time your z-axis rises, it will stop for two seconds and then go back down. This way of doing it gives it a little bit more time for the resin to actually flow back since the plate is at its highest point and possibly lets the LCD cool a little bit since there is more liquid that it could conduct heat into. Hopefully you found this useful and it's proved that the light off delay function is a little bit silly to use? Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!